Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and I have some empties. Now, I do not have a whole ton of empties. It has been a week. Last week was a week. So let me just get started with what the delay is in the empty. So last week I got my second um, vaccination shot. I got the Pfizer vaccine. So I worked Thursday, half a day, took the other half off to go get the shot, and I was off on Friday. So just want to give you an update because I know for a lot of people, you know, what was the second shot like is like the major dreaded dread for most people and the question that um you get asked the most. So um Thursday evening was fine. It was kind of normal. I was a little bit tired, but you know, that was about it. Um Friday um was kind of lazy getting out of the bed but i was like okay well it's friday i'm off so i just kind of attributed it to that friday morning was good but it seemed like the longer the day went the more tired i got so by afternoon i was just like a zombie on the couch wasn't really laying down or anything but just you know sitting up a tired so i just watched a lot of tv um caught up on the internets and everything going on and by Friday night um I did lay down on the couch for a little bit but I did not have a fever um did not have the arm pain that I had with the first shot the first shot when I got it that evening my arm had started getting really sore and by doing like that was a little painful. And the next day I couldn't even raise my arm over my head. Now that was with the first shot. With the second shot, I barely had any pain. It was just like where the needle actually went in. That was the only pain that I had. I was able to lift my arm over my head the next day. Really strange, but for the most part, it was um decent experience Saturday. I was a little bit tired, but I'd, I'd say I was between 90 and 95% myself by Saturday. And of course, by Sunday, it was like nothing ever happened. So just wanted to give you an update on that. As I said, I got the Pfizer vaccine and that was what happened. That was my results. So, you know, last weekend was Mother's Day, so that came around too. So I was cool to be able to bounce back for Mother's Day. And um, this week I am working a lot. You guys know I work a regular job. So overtime out the yin yang. So every night I've been working overtime. So I was like, you know what? I need to squeeze this video in so I can talk to my people and let you know what I have been warming while I've been sitting in the house working. So let's just jump right on in the box. Uh, the first thing I have is the appealing apple. This is gonna be the scent of the month for June. I almost have to remember to get my dates right. Um, this was a nice apple scent. It wasn't I don't think it was overly loud. I barely remember it. Like I said, my days are just like melting together, but I do remember I liked it. I remember that much. So you guys know I have a kit coming in about half a minute. So you will see this one again. Next up is Gridiron Rush. This is the NFL bar. It is a nice manly um, kind of aftershave smelling bar. I love this. Great performer. Next is Coconut Daiquiri. Um, I've heard differing reviews on this. I've heard some people say that, um, it doesn't really perform well. I've heard some say it does. Um, for me, for me, it performed decent. Um, as I said, days running together i warm this like as soon as i got my box so i plan to i do remember i only used two cubes it wasn't like it was so weak that i needed to use three cubes to you know make it pop or whatever but um i am getting another one of these um in the summer collection haul that'll be coming in about half a minute Hopefully I have it this weekend. So 
as soon as I do, I will give you guys another review on this. I hate that I cannot remember, but I think it was a decent performer. So we're just going to leave it at that. Next up is Tangerine Cream Sickle. This is the one I always get mixed up with Orange Dream Sickle. Um, great performer. Smells like a cream sickle. Smells really, really good. Only you do get more of the tangerine because it's a tangerine bar. You get more of a tangerine note. So you get more of an orangey note from this than you did the previous bar. One of my favorites. Pink Haze. If you guys, if this ever comes back, just grab it. It's it's just that good. It's fruit and like a vanilla cream. Awesome. A outstanding performer. Next is Experiment. The Angel Experiment 624 bar. I was so happy I had a chance to get this one. You guys know it was out previously. I had it in my club for a little while, took it out, regretted it immediately. This is, once again, a kind of girly, feminine bar. It's fruity, sweet, powdery, almost smells like a, like a body mist or something. Really, really good bar. Enjoyed it. Um, next, we have Palm Trees and Clean Breeze. News, news, news. This is now available. I saw it in my back office yesterday, and I meant to put something out today and forgot to do that. But I just want to point out, let me see right quick while we are... Let's see, I'm going to say Scent Warm of the Month under the Specials tab. Look, y'all, it's available. You guys can go ahead and get this now. It is available. Praise the Lord and hallelujah. So just want to point that out. And while I have my computer up, I did want to mention that it looks like everything is pretty much still available um, for the summer collection. I am really shocked that nothing is sold out. It looks like everything is still available. So just want to point that out. You guys still can get your shop on with the summer collection. So there it is. Nothing is out of stock yet. As I was saying, it's available. Um, this is ooh, hard to open. That's what it is. Really nice kind of botanical, tropical um, scent. Really, really pretty. Of course, it's called Palm Trees and Clean Breeze, so it's got to be tropical. Really, really good. Go ahead. Get you about six pack, two, three, six packs of it. You won't regret it. Next is almond croissant. Uh, we all know what this smells like by now. It smells like a croissant, buttery, almondy. I'm not that big of an almond fan. I love it. So almond croissant for the win. Great by itself. Excellent mixer. We are still going through the fall. Um, cedar cider. This gave me, when I did that video on my collection, it gave me a great way um, to organize all of my things together. I realized I still had some fall bars. So cedar cider, it smells just like a cedar closet. Powerful performer, just a great, great scent. Next is lemon coconut grass. Um, I told you guys previously, this was one that I never had the opportunity to try, I just kind of always bypassed it. Really, really great bar. I see now why everybody loves this. It was outstanding. Good performer as well. Next, we have the Disney Princess True Love Awaits. I was getting ready to say abounds. True Love Awaits. This one was... This one was nice. Um, it performed decent. You guys know the license scents sometimes are really, really light. This was decent. Pretty floral. 
bar. Um, would I get it again? Maybe, but it was good. It was nice. Disney True Love awaits. Vanilla Oud, one of my favorites. You guys know by now that I am obsessed heavily with vanilla. Smells like a vanilla perfume. It is awesome. Bubble gum. Finally, finally got through this bar. This was one that I was not that big of a fan of. It's it's um like an artificial bubble gum smell to me. I don't know. I just really didn't want my house smelling like bubble gum. So I kind of used it up in the bathrooms. It's what I do. Speaking of bring back my bars that some people don't like. Pumpkin and marshmallow. You guys know I told you recently I have like this newfound love for this bar. First I got it, thought I was going to love it, didn't like it. Now all of a sudden I'm loving it again. Go figure. I have no idea. But it's good. I've done it with three bars. I've done it with two bars. Um, I like it. Would I pick it up again? No, because I know there's other stuff coming that I want. But uh, I like it. Pumpkin marshmallow for the win. Next, we have Blooming Beach. This is from the Mother's Day collection. Really pretty, heavily floral bar. Um, really nice if you do not like florals. You will not like this because it is flowers all up in your grill. Um, next we have the Stitch Experiment 626 bar. This is also in my Scentsy Club. When they came back, I put both of them back in. This is a very kind of tropical bar. Really nice, outstanding performer. Shockingly, these two licensed scents were really, really great performers. And that's why I had put them in my Scentsy Club because I was so shocked at how great they were. We are still back on fall, guys. Bright Cider Life, use that up. This was an outstanding performer as well. It was like this apple cider, um, like the cider bar, but it almost had like a creamy note to it. I don't remember the um, notes offhand, but this was outstanding. If it ever comes back, which I'm hoping maybe it'll come back in the fall, hopefully is a regular catalog item. Pick it up. It was really, really good. Um, Another pumpkin marshmallow. I guess I was really growing through this. I'm like, I know I just held this one up. Uh, yep, it's on the floor. Another pump pumpkin marshmallow. You see, I was, I told you guys, I was digging it. Another palm trees and coco coconut, palm trees and ocean breeze. This must have been when I was doing my samples that I went through a couple of these. Apple s'mores. Um, it's a love-hate with this one. It's a smoky apple scent. So it's like a mix of Johnny Appleseed and Around the Campfire. Something like that. To me, it's just smoking apple. I have to be in the mood for this one. And I have like 10,000 bars of this left. So, yeah. Um, next one, Cocoa Lime. You cannot beat this. It is just a heavy strong lime sweet lime sugary scent outstanding outstanding performer it is everything and a bag of hot flaming doritos and lastly we have vanilla waves um this is another one where the performance is kind of eh, but i love the smell so much that I don't even care. I don't even care. Like, I will use three cubes of this in the warmer and just be a happy camper. And, yeah, it's that good. Vanilla Waves. Smells like body care. Get you some. If you have not tried this, you will not be sorry. So, that's it, everybody. The Oh, wait a minute. Did I do two? Oh, I think I just threw it back in the box. Yeah. 
I just threw it back in the box, you guys. So the box really is empty, you guys. So just wanted to come on really quick, show you my empties. Um, like I said, my summer collection should be coming hopefully this weekend. And I'll do a video and show you guys what I got. Um, also want to remember, you can still join Scentsy for only $20. As always, there will be a link below in the description box. If you decide to join, if you know somebody that wants to join, all that jazz. Um, you can always join Scentsy for a discount. I do want to point that out um, by doing a party, by, you know, shopping, inviting people to shop with you. Once you hit a certain total and purchases, then you can get a discounted kit. We do that every day, all day, 24-7, 365. But $20 always gets everybody's attention. So that's why we like to, you know, remind people because a month is basically halfway over. So if you're on the fence about it, come on over the water's fine. So thanks so much for watching. Please remember to thumbs up, stop by, comment, say hey. Um, did I say subscribe? I think I did. But if I didn't, subscribe. And thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.